so the elevator is right here. This is how we lift and this is what makes the airplane go up and down, pitches it up and down. The ailerons are right here, left and right. If you look at the left wing over there, you see that wing tip out there with that aileron out there? See that one? There's the other one on this wing went the other way. And like vice versa. So the ailerons go opposite directions to help back the airplane turn it and pull it into a turn. So, anyway, we've now figured out what makes it go left and right when we're in there. We coordinate the turn with our rudder pedals, because that works the rudder and the nose wheel. The nose wheel doesn't do anything in there, but the rudder does. That's coordinated with the back back there. We're going to get going down the runway. We're going to have to apply certain rudder pressure to keep the airplane going straight down the center line, because the torque, the P factor from the propeller, is going to make it try to go the other way. So we need to put a little left rudder in there to keep it going straight down the runway. When the airspeed, which is indicated right here, gets to about 65 miles an hour, we're going to gently ease back on the control wheel here, just ever so gently. And then the airplane is going to raise the nose. And once the nose is raised up, it'll just lift off the ground and it'll fly away. We will adjust our airspeed, interestingly enough, with our elevator here. And we will bring it to, we'll adjust our airspeed gain, looking for 85 miles an hour. And we'll climb out of that. And if you want to talk, you have to kind of talk into that microphone. Project your voice. Okay. No time for being shy, Captain. Your sister's going to make this take off, you know that, don't you? Yes. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, hey, looky here. We got a young man in the back as a passenger. He's going to witness his sister make a first takeoff. All right. And Arrow Country Traffic, uh, Eagle Flight 2 is taking runway 35 behind the Varga 4 departure. Hey, okay, we're now moseying around. Going straight, straighten the airplane up so we go straight to the runway. That's with your feet, remember. Feet, remember. There you go. Now you're going to turn, start to turn to the left. But we line up on the runway on the center line. There you go. Now you have to keep using your feet a lot on this. So, here we go. You are ready now, right? Okay. I'm going to apply full power. You're going to keep the airplane going straight with your feet. When the airspeed gets to 65, you're just going to gently nose, raise the nose. Right? Okay, back. Okay, back. Okay, back. Okay, back. We got a pattern one more time. See how the stairs going down the runway left and right and everything, every which way? Yeah. You're gently lift up because you're way past 765. There you, oh yeah, you just took off. <laughs> now lower that nose just a little bit because we're going way, way, way up. <laughs> how do you like that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's young man. Good. And your, and, go your, right. and your name is Landon? Yes. Okay. Well, it's going right pretty good. Okay, now, when we hit power, you're going to have to adjust that rudder pedal to keep this thing going straight. You're going to need to keep it going straight down the runway. Are you ready? Yeah. And at what, at what speed are you going to lift off at? 65. All right. Are you ready? How do I lift off again? Just gently raise the nose. Pull pull back on the elevator when you hit 65. You've got right rudder. Come on, right rudder. Right rudder. There you go. Easy, easy. You don't need to just, just love on it a little bit. Don't stomp it. There you go. Now we got it going. you got it going straight. That's a good job. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, 65 is coming up easily, just j ever so slightly. Come on back with it now. Come on. There you go now, not too far, not too far back. Push forward a little bit. There you go. How do you like that? I do. Okay, the wings back and turn, roll the wings level again. Remember, I told you to do that. Apply full power. Steer the airplane down the runway with your feet. Right here is the throttle, that's where you put the power in. Come on, put it in. Give me all the power. It's gonna to wanna to steer it, run off the runway, but so you steer it, keep it going straight. Give me all the power she's got, come on. All of it, there you go. Let off the brakes, you don't wanna be on the brakes at all. You gotta be on the bottom of the rudder pedals. Steer it just slightly to the right a little bit more. You got about 65 miles an hour, you know where that is? Easy, gently, just, just gently lift it up. Come on, there you go. Why are you going off the runway? Come on, lift it up. 
You're doing 80 now. There you go. Okay. Now you want to maintain about 80 miles an hour. You maintain 80 miles an hour by lowering the nose a little bit because it's want to kind of keep pitching up like that on you. So you want to roll some of this trim in there, right? We were talking about that. That's that trim wheel right there. So if it feels heavy, if it feels real heavy while you're doing this, then just You love it, This is huh? to smell my dream. It's going to accelerate to about... It's going to accelerate to about 65 miles an hour and then just gently ease back on the wheel. Gently ease back on the control wheel. Come on, there you go. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You just made your first takeoff. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Now, you want to climb out at about... at about uh, 80, 85 miles an hour. So right. you control the pitch of the airplane. Don't fixate on that. Just realize that we're a little... How you doing back there, Hoss? I am so scared. You're scared? Yeah. Why? Because he's flying? Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We got a problem here. Oh, my gosh. All right, boys and girls, I should be scared, too. Maybe he knows something I don't. No telling, huh? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you don't know what he's talking about? I was fine last time. Oh, yeah, well, that was last time. This time you had to take off and do everything. They didn't let you do that last time. Maybe they knew something I didn't. Quite taken. What I tell you about rudder pressure, a little bit of right rudder pressure, give all the power. Give it all she's got. Come on, Hossfly. There you go. Steer it down the runway with your feet. Okay, you got that? All right, now where are you at on your airspeed? Uh, red 65. Pull it back. Ease it back. Just ever so slightly. Come on. Okay, you just made your first takeoff there, young man. How do you like that? <laughs> you jumped you get up there pretty fast. You, yeah, you do. You jumped right past your airspeed too, right? Yeah. Okay, you want to pitch it up a little bit to maintain that 85 miles an hour we were looking for. We're going at 100. Well, oh, yeah, dead gummit. You're going 100 miles an hour. Nobody's chasing you either, huh? There's no cops behind you? I want to fly the airplane. It's being... <laughs> well, this is what the, this is what we're doing here. We're making sure little Miss Becca gets a chance to fly an airplane. It's nice. Captain Becca. What do you think? Yeah, you got... <laughs> You like the sound of that, don't you? Kind of do. You kind of do? You'd rather it be Colonel Beckham? Uh. <laughs> okay, if I say so, right? <laughs> if you uh, say so. Okay. Nicely done. Yeah. You've been playing simulators or something? I play flight games on my phone, but oh, that's, not, that's not real flying. <laughs> that's not real flying, is it? Nope. Okay, well, you figured out how to turn left, now you know how to turn right. You made a takeoff, you decided, you figured out how to climb the airplane and make turns, now you want to see if it can stall it. There? Okay, then. We're going to apply carburetor heat. We've already scoured the sky for airplanes. We've done two clearing turns. Runway 36, taxi to the hangar, Bravo 2. I want you to maintain that altitude. Okay. I'm going to pull the power back. I'm going right. to pull it all the way off. Okay. And so as I do that, the airplanes are going to want to descend. You're going to have to continue to add up elevator. You're going to have to continue pitching it up. As you do so, make sure you keep wings level. Yeah. Don't focus or fixate on any one thing. You've got to fly the airplane. Now you got to keep pulling back. You're descending there. See? You want to maintain 2,800 feet, 3,800 feet, wherever we are. And you want to maintain that. You saw how Lady Mac did earlier. Come on, pull it back, pull it back. Make her scream. That little baby's crying over there. You can hear that, I'm sure. When it, when it, it just broke. Release the back pressure, apply full power. And you've got flying speed, pitch it back up. As soon as you have flying speed, pitch it back up. And I don't mean 100 miles an hour. We're going really fast right there. Okay. You know, all you want to do is arrest the sink right there now. You went out there and lost us 200 feet. Okay. That could have been what, what, that could have been surviving it and not surviving it. You never seen the ground from this perspective. You never flown before. I mean, I've flown before, like in a but like not from the cockpit. 
Oh, oh, okay. Well, you're in charge here, Captain. You realize that, don't you? Yeah. You are steering the airplane, right? That's awesome. Yeah, how about turning us to the left again a little bit? Yep, first look out the window, make sure nobody's coming. Then give us a nice little turn. But you need to look out front, too, because what you notice here is you can glance down here, you say, oh, shoot, I started a descent. We got a lot more ground in the, horizon, in, in the windshield than we did before. Yeah. So you don't need to lean away from the turn. You just sit there and let there and let the air. About 80 miles an hour. There you go. You got it. Oh, I feel like I accomplished something in my life. You have done it. You you made that takeoff, you know. Yeah, I feel like I, feel like I accomplished something. Now you're doing about a 20 degree bank. Okay. You're slightly sinking just a little bit, and I can tell that because the nose dropped a little, so you just want to just, just ever so slight, that's about it right there, just a little bit more back pressure, now you got it, and you continue to just march right on around the circle here, you're doing a great job. Come on around, there you go, now you're on the center line of the runway, you want to keep it going straight, now give me full throttle and let's go. Come on, full throttle right here. There you go, come on, bring it all the way in, take her home, give us some power, need a little right rudder there. All right, and that young lady, let off the brakes. You don't need any brakes right now. Just keep it steering straight down the runway. Straight down the runway. We're almost to 65 miles an hour, aren't we? Okay, look, my hands aren't touching anything. Pull back just slightly. Come on, pull back a little more. Pull back a little. Oh, baby, there you go. All right, how do you like that? Now, you need to push forward a little bit because you want to let that airspeed, you want to hold that airspeed about 80 right there, okay? And you control that airspeed with pitch, okay? Pitch being controlled with the elevators. That's the elevator right there. All right? How you doing? You okay? Good. You're doing good. Now, a stall spin accidents happen close proximity to the airport. They happen right. most of the time in the traffic pattern. So... You want to be able to recognize that and recover with the minimum loss of altitude. We lost 150 feet or so on that recovery. Crosswind. Say again? Is there any wind? Yeah, there's a little bit of wind out there, but you're going to have to figure that out. That's your job. You're the pilot. you got to keep this thing on the, on the center line with your feet, right? Yep. So let's go. You come around the corner, easy, come on. Steer it down, run with your feet. Give me some power. What airspeed you gonna rotate at? 65. Okay, come on. Don't make me grab that control wheel. Don't stare at that thing either. Look out the window, make sure we're going straight. All right, young man, you just drove us off the, off the runway. Now, how fast are we gonna go? The zero four, come back. There is a, uh, not disregard. You know what airspeed you were looking for? 85, right? And you're about, you're pretty near there. Now you see how you maintain it by pitch? Yep. Okay. what I want you to do here now. All right. Roll full nose up trim. Full nose up trim. The other way, yeah. Give me all of it. Yep. Now, now, let go of the elevator. Just, just kind of steer it. All right, our engine just quit, so now we've got a real problem. we got to figure out what to do. All right. Two things we got to do. First thing we do is fly the airplane, right? Okay, well, we just set the airplane in that trim configuration to set up its best glide speed. Okay. That'll give us the most amount of time sitting up here in the sky to figure out what to do next. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look around. I'm, I spot runways everywhere. In an emergency, everything's a runway, right? But in the meantime, I might be able to figure out what happened. Oh, dead gummit! You kicked the fuel selector valve to the off position. Why did you do that for? Well, somebody was moving their luggage around. They were digging around in their flight bag, and they goobered it up. So I'm gonna put that back in the right position. I'm gonna restart the airplane. In the meantime, we're only sinking at 500 foot a minute now. So, how long have we been sitting here like this? About a minute. Well, okay. Yeah. How long? We got a long way to go before we hit the ground. Well, I think I'm going to chose that highway right over there and I'm going to land on that highway. So I can set up a traffic pattern while I try to fix and start the engine. 
Oh, the mag switch got turned off. Who did that? Oh, my mixture control was out. So we're going to, while we're still flying the airplane, we're going to try to troubleshoot what's going wrong with it. In the meantime, we're still multitasking, thinking about where we're going to land if it gets down to it. But the part, what we just did, though, is we took away the biggest part of your efforts. And we set up the best glide speed because this airplane will automatically seek its best glide speed when you roll full nose up trim. And, and we're going to do a 360. We're going to want to roll out, doing, roll out doing that 360 at about 120 degrees on the, according to this on the same altitude. Okay. Now you can see as soon as you roll into the turn, the airplane started descending. You can verify that by this. So what you want to do is you want to ease back a little bit on the elevator. There you go. Whoop, that's too much. It just takes just a little bit to do that. Right, Mike Tango, if you need and young lady sitting back there in the back, if you would help keep yeah, help keep our eyes out for airplanes out there in the traffic right. pattern somewhere. Wow, it is a really clear day out right now. Yes, sir. Not bad, huh? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go the other way now. But you rolled out into a climb. Right now you're starting out into a descent. I can tell you that right off the bat just by looking out the window. Right. Now, don't fixate out the window, don't fixate on any one thing, just keep your eyes and your head and, you, and you're just moving all the time, looking around. Like I said, we were looking for traffic and I spotted that little Cessna over there a little while ago. What we're doing here is kind of doing clearing turns here.